Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein, inventor of tumescent local anesthesia and tumescent liposuction. Today I'd like to discuss, briefly discuss some of the other applications besides liposuction for the use of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. Originally this procedure developed in order to prevent bleeding during liposuction and to avoid the use of general anesthesia. It's proved to be very safe and effective and over the years a number of uh, surgeons have applied this to other areas uh, of their specialties and have had excellent results. There is a large literature available on PubMed. You can search tumescent anesthesia and find uh, over 400 articles referred to. Uh, also, you can go to our website, tumescent.org, and uh, you will find a list of all the, the bibliographies of uh, these articles. For example, just to name a few, uh, mastectomies can now be done totally by tumescent local anesthesia. Subclavian steel syndrome has been uh, treated surgically using tumescent lidocaine local anesthesia in patients who were too frail to be given general anesthesia. Burn patients uh, are routinely uh, have skin grafts under tumescent local anesthesia and has the advantage of minimizing bleeding and avoiding the use of, of uh, un unpleasant general anesthesia or unnecessary narcotic anesthesia. Uh, pediatric cases have been used, uh, have used tumescent lidocaine anesthesia, as well as adults, of course, uh, in dermatology, large excisions of melanomas, large lipomas, and skin cancer, flap repair and, and, and laceration repair are all applications of tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. I've given you a, a short list of all of the surgical procedures that are currently being done using tumescent lidocaine anesthesia. For a complete list and a bibliography, go to our website, tumescent.org. Thanks.